you are very busy right now. And then I remember you have a child. How old now? He's nine. He's nine. How do you juggle the work with having the nine-year-old? It's got to be difficult. It's hard, but Henry is very parental with me. He's, um, you know, it's just him and me until I fell in love with my best mate um, four years ago. Mm -hmm. It was really just Henry and I. And he, um, like, he sat me down. He's like, he has a really deep voice. He does, he sounds like he's, you know, got a show in the Poconos. Yeah. He's like, Mom, you got, you got to sit down. Come, sit down. And right. I was like, what? I don't... I'm, this is your nine-year-old? Yeah. Mommy, sit down. I got to talk to you about something. It's, it's, he it's sounds like Al Pacino. He's, like, he's terrifying. <laughs> he's terrifying. He's not. He's fantastic. Yeah. So he's like, sit down, Mommy. I was like, what's up? And he's like, I got to tell you a couple things. And I was like, well, what is it? And he's like, okay, so... I'm sorry, but the Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy, and Santa Claus, not real. And he like, he broke it to you? He broke it to me, and I'm, I'm crying at, at the loss of innocence and the sadness and the fact that he, his was when he was like six or seven years old. Right. And he's like, don't cry, Mommy, it's okay. You're gonna get older. <laughs> he's so good. He's such a good dude. I love him. Yeah. He's such a good dude. You just broke some bad news to Andy. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You can't just say stuff like yeah. that. But Andy, it's okay. You don't have any teeth left anyway. Yeah. I don't. I don't. That's <laughs> a, I was gonna say the tooth fairy was the the one that hurt because that's how. I, <laughs> I am, right? I are you? Would you say that you are a strict parent? I'm not strict, but I am English, and there's this there's this manners thing that I had just not literally beaten into me, because I wasn't beaten as a child. My mother's in the dressing room watching. Nobody hit me. Right. But, um, What's the stress again? You were not beaten. No, no, You were not beaten. No. But, we, but manners were a big deal, and I would, yeah. be, I would be taken in a restaurant, if I had bad manners, I'd be taken and slung in the car, and they would barely crack the window. Right. So kids come over to our house to eat dinner, and they're all blah, 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 spaghetti bolognese. And I'm like, knock it off. Click. Oh, no, that was meant to be funny. No, it's not. No. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm like their worst nightmare of right. sort of AI Mary Poppins, or, like, awful style. Like, it's interesting. if you want jelly and ice cream, you'd better eat your spaghetti bolognese <laughs> nicely. <laughs> Stop it, I'll tell the queen. Yeah, it's very, I can see that. Awful, frightening. How can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? Exactly. <laughs> you don't eat your meat, you won't get any pudding. And yeah. they're all... But they, lo they do laugh at me. You know, now, my they? mother, very strict about manners, and she used to say that no one was going to respect me or like me if I didn't sit up straight. Her thing, big thing was elbows off elbows the table. Elbows off the table. Elbows off the table. Yeah. With your mouth. And then I'd go to school, and all the cool kids were just shoving food into their, any hole in their face, you know? <laughs> And they were liked. I didn't ever understood that. But it's good. I think it's good to teach men. Do you think that's a British thing versus an American well, so thing? So you know how there's like the stereotype. Like there's a stereotype that the British are that super uppity. Yes. And there's a stereotype in England that Americans are sort of slightly uncouth, which I think is unfair. But let me explain. Smart answer in this room. Yeah. <laughs> well, also, I'm one of you now as well. I'm, I yeah. became an American citizen. So anyway, the the thing is, I have a feeling that when you got rid of the red coats, I feel like it was like, we're gonna get rid of the red coats, we're gonna get rid of the tea, we're gonna get rid of the church and state, and we're gonna get rid of the manners. Right, So right. we wanna put our elbows on the table, we wanna eat a hamburger. And right. it was all, I think it was all in a reaction to the British. It's really just like. Right. <laughs> See. I do. You know, I mean, a bit like that. Yeah, it just looked like you gave me the double finger, that's all. I know. Well, that's if, yeah, if the sound's down, it's going to look bad. If the sound's down, if someone's watching it while they're doing something else, they see the beautiful mini driver go like this to Conan, and then, you know. They'll be asking, what did Conan yeah, do? Yeah, and then they just saw me do it back to you, and things are getting really unpleasant. <laughs>